what's up what's good what's going on y'all so i want to jump in and just check the energy and see what is going on externally to the sagittarian ninth house collective all right guys <clears throat> so this is a general message just take what resonates bless someone else with the rest okay don't force the shoe if it doesn't fit uh -oh, we got a card that's out of place here Oh, could have to do with a dirty offer. What's come out so far is recording and doing drugs. So um, I don't know where we're going with this reading so far, but it definitely looks like that there is some sort of evidence of someone doing drugs here. And because of that, there could be some sort of dirty offer that's come into light. Someone could have some sort of insecurities about some sort of recording of them doing drugs or the behaviors that they do when on drugs someone could be recorded someone there could be some sort of revealing of evidence of this someone could have been doing like taking dirty offers because someone was trying to keep this under wraps oh see i'm i feel like that's what i'm saying i feel like that someone's promiscuous behavior while doing drugs is on recording is on recording. There's some sort of, I don't know where this is coming from. Yeah. And someone is depressed and sad and hurt about this. Like someone is really hurt about these recordings, about this evidence that's coming to light. Um, They've been, they could have been doing things against their, like, you know, someone could have been blackmailing them. Huh. Who is involved in this? Who who is involved in this here? Oh, that's way too many. They're all face down. I did see the nine of cups. There was definitely some overindulgence here for sure. Let's see who is involved. Show me the energy that I want to, I want to know who this is that is on the recordings. Let's see. Could be a Scorpio. Doesn't necessarily have to be What's on this recording? What's on this recording? What's on the recording? Yeah, look, the five of swords conflict. Um, for some of you all, this there, there could be some sort of recording of some sort of argument, someone like some argument gone wrong. Um, so some, there could be like some sort of recording of someone excessively behaving because they were on drugs. Justice here at the bottom of the deck. Okay. What's, what's on these recordings? It could involve a Scorpio, could involve an Aquarius. What's on these recordings? The high priestess, listen to your intuition. But I feel like that with it, like there's definitely, um, the high priestess is a secret, like secret knowledge. So um, it's definitely secrets. I definitely feel like that. Um, I'm just going to throw this out there. There could even be some sort of occultic slice. I do feel like that this is, past behavior though i do I, I do feel like that these are like older recordings i just feel like that they still have the wounds that are record like whatever's recorded the wounds of whatever's on those recordings is still very much so felt but i do feel like that there's like these recordings have been held kept secret for quite some time <laughs> 
someone's been trying to use these recordings to silence someone possibly. Let me see, what is doing drugs here? This could be involving a, uh, the recording situation. I have Pisces, Aquarius, Scorpio over there. What's going on with doing drugs? What is this? The Empress could be a Libra. Doesn't necessarily have to be. King of Wands in the reverse. There could be some sort of mother figure. What is doing drugs? The Empress. What is doing drugs? The Empress. The King of Cups. The Six of Cups in the reverse. Someone could be, there could be a recording. I do. I feel like that there's a recording of someone on drugs um, being overly promiscuous, overly, there's something to excess, overly promiscuous. There's definitely a recording of someone's mother, someone's mother of their children. There's definitely some unpleasant memories of someone It definitely shows that someone was out of balance here. What is the Empress, the King of Cups? This could be a water signs mother, an Aquarius Pisces. That Aquarius and Pisces is following this reading. I just want to throw that out there. So there could be an Aquarius mother figure. The Hermit is out here in the reverse. Yeah, the four of cups in the reverse. Yeah, there's there's someone. Now I'm doing drugs. It could be like just someone drinking with the Pisces energy out here. Um, but there's a recording of someone intoxicated, being overly emotional, very promiscuous in their energy, very free with their energy for sure. I feel like that um this person was really like, I don't know, this person is caught. An argument went overboard. An argument went overboard here and it's caught on camera recording or something and it's being used to blackmail someone. What is this promiscuous energy? Uh oh, yeah, the Knight of Cups in the reverse. So this is like a one night stand energy. The Hierophant and whoever this was is in some sort of commitment. Someone becomes jealous over someone's sexual choices or I don't know, like someone, it's like someone's gotten intoxicated and someone has recorded this person becoming overly emotional over someone else's choices. 
over someone else's romantic choices. Whoever this is, is committed. What's the Knight of Cups promiscuous? Yeah, the Libra. This person is married. Could be a Libra. Doesn't necessarily have to be. Nine of Wands. Excuse me. Something needs to be balanced. Like, yeah, like um, someone's out of touch with reality and needing to be balanced out. And whatever this out of touch with reality is, it's being caught on. It's being caught on recording. There's evidence of it. But it's, I don't like, I don't know if it's part of the trap because I do feel like that whatever this evidence, this recording is, is being used to possibly offer some sort of dirty, it's, it's definitely causing someone, someone's doing something to try to, I don't know, someone's being blackmailed with that is really what I feel here. What's promiscuous Knight of Cups in the reverse, uh, Justice? It's like someone is oh, like overly, yeah, like somebody is investigating someone's sexual options, sexual choices. I'm talking about somebody is looking really deep, having a hard time moving on. Yeah, someone is really investigating someone's new romantic partner. And there's something about their jealous response is coming out in moments of intoxication and it's getting it's being recorded. OK, that's for some people. For others of you all, someone has a recording of someone while intoxicated and being very promiscuous, very promiscuous. And I feel like that this person, like whoever has the recording is using it against someone to gain the upper hand in some sort of legal proceedings, possibly. I don't necessarily think that they're trying to use it in legal proceedings, but I do feel like that they're trying to incite some sort of conflict with that. Yes, trying to force someone to work with them. Clarify this depression energy. I don't know what we got going on, but we're not going to deny this storyline, okay, guys? But if you feel like that this is your story at 13 minutes in, we would absolutely appreciate that thumbs up down below, guys. Um, Let me see. Yeah, the three of cups in the reverse to the ten of cups. I do feel like that... Um, I feel like that this has possibly... Like, I feel like that this has shifted someone's social group. I do feel like that... Um, someone was trying to fit in into a, a social group, a social setting that didn't fit them anymore. I definitely feel like that someone has found themselves bullied or I feel like that that social group that someone was trying to trying to fit in at, I definitely feel like that they did. This is giving me like hazing, college hazing energy. I don't know, like someone was hanging out with some people that they really didn't have any business hanging out with. Someone could have gotten intoxicated, done like their behaviors were not something of their typical um, normal behaviors. And someone recorded this. And now some this person that got recorded is very sad and depressed trying to keep this from coming to light. I do feel like that this person is now recognizing how they were never really welcomed into that. Like those were never really their friends. I do feel like that this person is feeling disconnected. Um, and I, I feel like that they're, I do feel like that even though that this is a deep wound that is healing slowly, I do want this person to know that happiness is like ultimate happiness is 
on arrival for you. It is here with the Ten of Cups coming out and the Three of Cups came out in the reverse. But the Ten of Cups is in the upright. So I do feel like that there is happiness around, but I do feel like that, like the group, I do feel like that you're ostracized or not feeling like you fit in with a certain community or a social, social group. But there's other happiness that is around and it does require you to lean on that, lean into that. Show me more on depression, three of cups in the reverse, the 10 of cups. I think someone's friends kind of let them down. Someone, someone didn't expect their friends to do this to them. And I wouldn't have like, this isn't real friends. That's why they did it. But yeah, judgment. And that's a yes card. So I, I definitely feel like that the truth has come out here. Um, but I feel like that judge, it's a judgment call. This card says spiritual awakening, self-assessment, repentance, sins, forgiven, transition, resurrection, heal, and ascend to the next level. So I definitely feel like that there, like happiness is going to be restored here. Um, I do feel like that you are going to um, rise above any transaction, trans dress transgressions that have been caught on recording don't allow don't allow yourself to be shamed into taking some sort of dirty offer that is never meant to work with you anyways like um this off this, like you don't have to take this dirty offer just because there is some evidence on you or because someone recorded you at a less than honorable moment don't do that to yourself I do feel like that if you're willing to face the sounds of your music then I do feel like that you like it says Heal and ascend to a higher level. They're like spirit is saying, yes, this isn't something that you would want to come out, but don't shy away from it. Don't run away from it and don't beat yourself up about it and don't take nobody's flack because of it. Because actually this is something that is going to be your stepping stone. So even though that's easier said than done, allow it to fall into the place that it needs to fall into so that you can rise above it so that you can use it as your stepping stone let me look at this dirty offer here since it wanted to show up what's this dirty offer here Look, yeah, somebody's trying to get you to a breaking point. Someone's trying to, yeah, like, yeah, like somebody's trying to, somebody's pride and ego then got the best of them. That's what it is. And so somebody feels like that they need to, um, I don't know, either get even with you or they need to break you down in order to, like, I definitely feel like that this dirty offer is to keep you attached in one way or another to keep you overwhelmed. Yeah, you're better off without this offer. I do want you to know that you're better off without this offer, okay? Better off. This person knows that if you were in a clear headspace, you wouldn't take this offer. What is this, like, what is inside of this dirty offer? It's definitely, to, it puts an end to some sort of freedom of yours, okay? It puts an end to some sort of self self growth. We got finality and ecstasy. So, like, there's something that you do that brings you excitement and individuality. And whatever this dirty offer is, it would definitely put that to an end. Yeah. And whatever this dirty offer is, it's a fucking bluff, anyways. Okay. Yeah. And it's a and this person knows that they're running the risk to make you this dirty offer, but they're still gonna try. Um, so we got Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Scorpio, Libra Taurus. What is this self-care message for those that have resonated with this storyline? soulmate um for one spirit is saying be open to the idea of loving yourself the divine will provide you with love when you're ready so i feel like that spirit is saying that now is not the time i feel like that now is the time to really focus on loving yourself and, and to kind of like shift your focus away from trying to find the one at this time there are some this has to you got to work 
do some work on oneself. Um, I do feel like that this situation is going to require some healing and recovering from, okay? So don't rush the process. Close this out, baby girl. Fear. I release all fear. Um, I invite you, divine beloved, to move through me in all ways, guiding my actions in every moment. Let me release all fears and feel unbridled openness to the new. All right, Sag, I love you. I hope that this message was able to offer you some guidance on your journey. And in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, let's choose peace. And don't forget, we all have the ability to make a difference. Just go be great. So go be great.